right. Hi guys, Shane here, back with you from Guitar at Work. Uh, and this is Gray Street uh, by Dave Matthews. I think you'll find uh, this one challenging for sure. That it's uh, sort of an angular rhythm and it's got some neat voicings uh, for these chords. Uh, Dave Matthews, one amazing guitar player, writer, and uh, he just loves to use, uh, I won't call them obscure, but uh, different kinds of voices uh, instead of straight ahead chords all the time. Um, what we're seeing here first off, um, the, there's only a, a couple of three chords here, I think it is, or three or four chords in that main riff or verse section. And the first one you're seeing is a, what they're calling a B minor on your chart. B minor, this guy here. It's your second finger here on the seventh fret of the low E, your third finger on the seventh fret of the G string. Now the tricky part about this, we want to hear those two notes that you're fingering and also the open D string. That guy there. Now we're going to be strumming it, so there's a whole lot of muting going on. I should be held, able to hit all six strings and only hear those three notes. That's the that's the tricky part for sure. That's called the mute or muting. And this guy here. Now, where is the mute coming from? Um, if you can get a good close up there, this guy. Uh, I'm going to say that. I'll, I'm looking down to my left, my middle finger is just barely touching the high E string and the B string. And that's kind of cancelling those two out. Boom. So I can just find that spot. Aha! There it is. If I stand them up a bit, ooh, I'm going to get those strings ringing open. So I'll just, just move to like, ah, they're dead now. Good. That's right. That's the one. Now, that'll be a work in progress. Believe me, it takes a little while to get, the, to get a consistent mute. So you land on it every time and it's fine. There's only two shapes here, so look at this. We've got that, there's your B minor. I'm going to drag it down to the G. Now, here's the cool thing. I'm going to follow my ring finger. He's always going to be on the G string for the main part of the song. So I'm going to get rid of my middle finger. I'm going to follow this ring finger down to the fourth fret. Doink, right there. And I'm going to put my first finger here on the third fret of the low E string. And that is your G. That's your G shape. There we go. So, back to the B minor here. Gonna follow that ring finger down to the fourth fret and put my first finger here, third fret of the low E. Same situation where we have to mute. Now this time it would be the first finger's job to just go in there and shut down that B string and the high E string, which won't sound won't sound great if you uh, if you hit them in the court with your right hand. There we go. That's that's your G shape. Now I'm gonna drag it up to an A, which is the same thing but two frets higher. There he is. That's the one. Same deal with the mute on that one. Okay, so so far we have the B minor here. I'm going to drag that down to a G shape. Remember, follow that ring finger. Bring that up two frets. And now D slash F sharp is the same shape as your B minor, but here on the second fret. There we go. And again, I'm following that ring finger throughout. Here, here's what we have thus far. Here's B minor. I'm going to G here. Going to an A. Down to your D slash F sharp. Now it's going to repeat the G to A bit. And back to D slash F sharp. And then last one is a G. And that is your main riff. So let's see if we can put all that together slowly. I won't, I won't introduce any strumming just yet, just one shot a piece for now. B minor, G, A, D slash F sharp. Repeat the G to A. Back to D slash F sharp. And one G. We're at, the, we, we're at the repeat already. So let's do that again. Here's B minor, three, four, it's going B minor. G, A, D slash F sharp. G, A, D slash F sharp, back to the G. Right, so uh, you'd want to get that going on before you try this funky strumming that we'll end up doing for sure. Remember, if there's any hesitation in the left hand, this guy just short circuits on you, kind of gives up. So you might make sure that you can get to those pretty handily, pretty easily there. Boom, boom. It's already starting to sound good, even just like that. Um, so the rhythm of it, uh, let's get this guy going here, and the, the, meaning the timing here. I'll go B minor. If you're feeling comfortable, if not, just shut the video off, come back later when you've got a handle on those left hand chords. If I do it slowly in time, three, four, B minor. G, A, D, G, A, D, G. I should do it even slower than that. This D slash F sharp, I'm just calling it D, because by the time I say D slash F sharp, I'm actually off the chord at that point. So I'm going to slow that down a little bit. Here's B minor, three, four, no. G, A, D, G, A, D, G, repeat. B minor, G, A, D, G, A, D, G, again, B minor. G, A, D, G, A, D, G. Good, so you really want to get a handle on that, get the rhythm going on, and let's look at the, at the, the strumming bit. So if we add the funky strumming for this, um, so often in guitar, 
The right hand is just doing that, just chugging away. I always think walk the chicken, walk the chicken, or walk the chicken, or marche la poule, marche la poule, whatever works. And if I put in the accents, this is a neat way to do it. I'm gonna try to feel where those accents are at first. It's gonna be on a down, it's gonna go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. So this guy, he's just keeping on going, right? He's just keep on trucking with that guy. And we find out where, where Dave Matthews is changing chords uh, by uh, finding out where those accents live. So again, if I count you in three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down. Now that can be a misery, I know that. Um, if I now add the left hand into that, let's get a good close up going on. I'll go a little slower than what we just did. How about one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. Now I should tell you, after the initial accent, um, pushing down to get the chord, ah, chicka, chicka, and those, just lifting off and stifling those strings. Just scrub them, and so they're muted strums. It's just more percussive than anything. Uh, here it is from the top again, really slowly. Three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, down. Now if I go back to just scrubbing strings again, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, repeat, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, and we just have to get the chords in there. Um, so that's a lot to think about, I know. Real time here, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, down. May sound odd, but it's almost easier to do it up tempo like that than it is to, to really think about where they are, do it, you know, uh, assuming that, of course, that you're okay moving around like that on the neck. That is the main portion of the song, the intro, and uh, it happens during the verses, all the verses as well. The only other part is in the chorus where everything really squares out uh, and it gets a whole lot easier. I'm just gonna grab a B minor here, you're seeing that. We're calling it B minor two uh, to distinguish it on your chart from this B minor here. It's just a normal garden variety B minor bar chord like that. And I'm gonna go into a straight 16th note strum, which is just this, one, two, three, Four, so four strums per beat there, as you notice. I'm gonna go one, the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken. Here's an A, two, three. Here's a D, G, B minor, okay. A, and then you're back to bow. Bow, bow, bow to your main riff in that. So here's a chorus together, one more time, a little quicker than that. B minor, three, four. One, two, three, A, two, D, G, B minor, A, and the main riff, here comes. Again, wow. Good, round and round it goes. And there's a, it'll be verse, chorus, verse, chorus. I think it's a double chorus uh, in the middle there somewhere and uh, uh, toward the end as well. But it's all the same chorus, just goes round and repeats itself. And it goes out with the main riff. Yeah, so I know that that is a tough one for sure. I hope it's introduced some new chord shapes to you and some new rhythmic challenges as well. Uh, so much of guitar is in the right hand, eh? that right hand bit. But as I said earlier, so often we're just chugging away and we decide where to put the, the, the chord stab or the pattern exists in the left hand while you're just chugging away. Ow. Good stuff. So enjoy that. That was an excellent song. And uh, we'll see you again for the next round. Take care now. Bye-bye.